That's a gimme. Sheehan again finds Barnes for a first down. This time at the midfield strike. I'll tell you what else is surprising. Oftentimes into the boundary you will see teams roll up. Roll that corner up. Play cover two. At least take away that easy throw. Make them throw the challenging one deeper down the field. Sheehan in trouble. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Benson Mayoa with the sack. Clock stops at 45. Timeout. Bowling Green. As Bowling second Green has to burn the their second it's a timeout. Second timeout. They'll have one remaining. Especially on second down. If it's not here, you can't afford a sack. Throw it away. Barnes, bottom of your screen. Locked up with Kenneth Patton. They look the other way. Looking for the big play. Incomplete. Going for Chris Wright. Great defense played by Isaac Butts. That's what you got to do. Take away the high percentage hitch routes and quick outs and slants. Make them throw the lower percentage plays, the go routes and the fade routes. Again, more press coverage. The game is on the line here. And Isaac Butts and Kenneth Patton, the two corners of Idaho, have said, you know, we're going to come up and we're going to be the aggressors. You got to beat press coverage. Third and 11. Sheehan looking deep, Barnes is open! Touchdown! Bowling Green! How did he get so open? Everyone knew he was gonna go to Freddie Barnes, yet he's still open. His third touchdown of the ball game. Well, hello NFL, I may run 4-6-2 on your little stopwatch in 40 yards. But all I'm gonna do on a season is catch 155 passes, including three touchdowns in my career finale. Extra point, Matt Norsick. That's good. And this crowd here at Bronco Stadium is stunned. What a performance, Freddie Barnes. Now this is just a one-on-one -on -one situation and I think there is confusion at Idaho. The corner clearly playing that two deep roll coverage expecting his safety deep over the top. It's not something Idaho plays a lot of and you see that half safety influence by the inside receiver. He gets off his landmark and the last thing you can do is leave number seven alone. Well, don't give up on Idaho just yet. They've got 32 seconds to make something happen. Kick is high and deep fielded at the 12-yard line. Out to the 30. Max Coma gets it to the 34. So Coma still looking for his first catch, helping out on special teams. Our Capital One player of the game, guess who? Freddie Barnes, 17 grabs, 219 yards, three touchdowns, and oh, by the way, he became the FBS all-time leader in reception. But the Vandals still with a pulse. 26 ticks remain. They've got two timeouts to work with. Enderley throws it deep. Oh, it's caught! It's <laughs> caught by Preston Davis! Clock stops, 16 seconds, there's a flag down on the field. It's close to where the catch was made. Pass interference, defense number 21. The penalties decline, first foul. Uh, you may want to take your time out here if you're Idaho. That clock will start back up. You've got two of them left in 16 seconds. I think you probably want to take a timeout, make sure you get yourself in the right call. But how about the effort of Preston Davis coming back for the ball? They don't call timeout. Clock's moving. And that's five seconds. Over the middle, incomplete. Yeah, to me, that is a critical mistake there with two timeouts, Eric. You've got to get yourself in the right play. You must take a timeout. Save those five seconds that burned from when they wound that clock and you snapped it. Can't take them with you. Looks like Idaho now will take a timeout. That, in my opinion, should have been done after the big play, just to regroup everybody, 
Timeout. You then allow yourself Idaho. two plays. Number two and a half, a 30-second timeout. Bowling Green up by seven, but Idaho with a chance. Ball on the 16-yard line. Enderley, fastball, caught! Comar, his first catch of the day! Look at the guts right now. You saw the guts of Komar, and Rob Akey right now is deliberating. Now the rest are going to give him a little more time, but clearly on the sidelines, Rob Akey deliberating whether to go for two or to kick this PAT and go to overtime. And how about, how about the effort of Komar? All the balls off his chest on the ground. Does he dig this one out? Field stands. That's right. Touchdown. And that is what is important. All y'all listening out there. Indisputable visual evidence. We gotta move forward now, Brock. It looks as if Rob Akey is gonna send his offense back on the field and go for two and the win. Before they called the timeout, that looked like they had their regular offense running onto the field. Would that be a good decision or are you just kick it? <laughs> the way that Bowling Green and Freddie Barnes and what they have done to your secondary the last 20 minutes of this game I can clearly support going for two I think they're gonna go for it now the call is do you rely on those big fellas your Outland Trophy winner your All-American left guard and your little back or do you throw that fade route to number one, Eric Greenwood? And a timeout's call. Bowling Green wants to timeout set up defensively. Bowling Green. And I got to tell you, Greenwood not even in the half. play. A 30 second A two timeout. tight end look there from Idaho. Here we go. Okay, here's the big fella now. Watch this matchup up here. That's your fade guy earlier in the game. Enderley, tons of time, over the middle, he scores, Preston Davis, two-point conversion, Idaho, up by one. Because of the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, this kickoff is going to start from the 15, so a little bit of an advantage now for Bowling Green. They're going to have at least a head start moving down the field. Kick off. Oh, it's a great one. Wow. Inside the five. That'll do it. Idaho wins it. Well, Jakey, congratulations on the win. What went behind your decision to go for two? Well, they hadn't been able to stop us. I had confidence in our guys. I felt like we could make something happen there. Let's do it where we got some momentum. First winning season in a decade. Your first bowl win. What did you learn? about this program tonight. I tell you what, I love these players. I can tell you that right now. And they proved everybody. Don't doubt them. They'll prove you wrong. Congratulations. Go enjoy it, Coach. Thank you very much. Go Ben. What a day. Idaho wins it 43-42. Turn over to ESPN News for a post-game extra and for live coverage of the Rhodes Humanitarian Bowl trophy ceremony down on the field. Log on to ESPN360.com. For Brock Hewitt, Heather Cox, and our entire crew, I'm Eric Collins saying so long from Boise.